When Modern Masters continues, windows that provide more than a view. One of the feelings that I like to evoke in all of my windows is a feeling of uh, peacefulness and serenity. Creating visions in stained glass when Modern Masters returns. This window offers a different view of New Mexico, a mystical world, seen through the eyes of stained glass artist Salvador Iquiwa. As I'm uh, traveling through the mountains, I see, I, I have like dreams, or I see visions in front of me. Salvador moved to Moriarty, New Mexico about four years ago. One of the main reasons that I moved to New Mexico is to be inspired by the landscape and the skies. He stumbled into the world of stained glass at 14 when he wanted to make money to buy an amplifier for his guitar. I went into this uh, workshop and asked for a job and much to my surprise they were making uh, Tiffany style lampshades and I started to learn how to cut glass there even though when I first started working with glass there they told me that I would never become a glass cutter because I just kept breaking glass. But he soon learned to make showroom pieces without breaking them. By 21, Salvador opened his own studio and joined a new generation of artists working to revive the ancient technique of glass fusion. Because there's many techniques at that time, this is back, oh, probably like the early 70s, late 60s, where uh, a lot of the old techniques were being uh, lost. The Egyptians and Persians fused glass 4,000 years ago. But Salvador's work heralds a new age in glass design. He starts with a drawing, which he paints with watercolors. Since uh, glass is such a, a fluid uh, material to work with, and many times when a light passes through it, it reminds me a lot of, of, uh, of a watercolor. From his watercolor, Salvador copies a pattern, which he uses to cut the shapes you'll need for a window. I get to be a little kid and uh, uh, break and shatter glass, and it's, it's a certain kind of re release for me. Salvador must be careful to keep his glass cutter well oiled, or else... This one's gonna crack, I didn't use any oil. I have to redo it. But his cuts are usually precise and he rapidly finishes each piece. And then with the glass pliers, you can come back and clean any sharp edges. Now he's ready to add colors and textures for the fusing process. For the larger circles, he's chosen glass powder. To recreate the effect of his watercolor painting, Salvador uses a paintbrush to spread and blend the different colored powders. It's the same thing when you're doing a watercolor and you mix the water with the uh, watercolor paint and then you apply it to the uh, paper surface and you can kind of see the uh, water moving around and you can manipulate it with the brush. But this design is more vulnerable than a watercolor. Salvador remembers times when his powders bit the dust on the way to the kiln. Maybe my mind wasn't focused and I would be thinking about something else, or I would trip on an electrical extension cord, and then the glass powder would literally just fall off the glass. The powdered glass and the clear circle will melt together as the heat in the kiln slowly rises. Sometimes you don't know until the next morning when you open up the lid of your kiln and you actually see the finished piece, it could have cracked in the kiln, it could have moved in different areas where you didn't really want it to, so there's many things that could happen. 15 hours later, the suspense is broken, but not the glass. The uh, pattern in it is nice, but there's also a feeling of uh, spontaneity in it, which I also wanted to achieve, just like the original watercolor sketch that I did. Long after the stained glass cools, the sense of melting color remains. It's as if the light that touches it continues to fuse Salvador's vision of land and sky.
When we return, adding a touch of the space age to an ancient art. It's uh, kind of like a transcendental quality because it's going to look very different in uh, different forms of light. More Modern Masters in a moment. The real colors and shapes of nature are reflected in the surreal world of Salvador Equiwa's windows. But there's also an element of otherworldliness in his tiny hints of color-shifting glass. They're broken bits of dichroic glass. Dichroic glass gets its ever-changing colors from a thin metallic coating, a technique borrowed from the space age. An artist once walked into a scientific lab and saw the special coating that was being done on uh, these tiles for the space shuttle and asked if the same coating could also be applied to glass. Salvador will use the dichroic glass in another fusion technique. This time, Salvador stacks random pieces of clear glass atop a larger piece, occasionally adding a dash of dichroic glass. I don't like to use too much of it because I feel that a lot of it is too overpowering, but I just love the subtlety. In the kiln, the random pieces will fuse into one textured whole. The next day, Salvador opens the kiln on a tiny, melting glacier. The bits of yellow color change to purple in the studio light. I'm uh, looking at it, checking it to make sure that there's a lot of thickness so that later on when I go and carve, I won't uh, create any small holes in the glass. Salvador takes the fused glass into a small room where he sandblasts a pattern into the layered glass. The design will refract its own play of light and color, just one sparkling facet in the window's multifaceted landscape. But Salvador makes each part stand out within an individual frame of lead. Once he's soldered the window together, he polishes the glass and lead to reveal his watercolor vision. Salvador sees the individual shapes and colors not just as stained glass, but as natural elements. And you can call some of these elements uh, water, you can call them air, you could call them uh, the earth. Uh, that I like to leave up to the viewer, but to me it's kind of like a dance because there's these uh, different components, whether the, uh, they're the uh, bevel glass circles, the jewels, or some of the fused glass components that I've made. To me, they seem to be floating around this uh, center point. Even after Salvador Ikiwa finishes a window, the colors continue to shift with the changing light, endlessly re-choreographing the dance of the elements. Country style is joining